Hi, this is Kishore Kumar. In this video, I am going to conduct a test regarding testing of the functionality of RCCB with the help of a RCCB tester. Overall, I will tell you the setup. This is the power supply and I have flagged an RCCB to the supply. So this is the supply side and this is the load side. To which I have flagged this meter. and this earth I have connected it in the parallel socket for ease of understanding so face and neutral Incomer to RCCB and load is connected to a 3 pin socket in which I have flagged this meter and separately I have taken an earth line. As I already told you, I have inserted it here. This RCCB is 40 amps and 30 milliamps sensitivity. And this meter I have already mentioned in previous videos. Here we have a notepad and I have mentioned some details here. We will go through it. RCCB trip time test. Time is in milliseconds. The RCCB specifications is 40 amps, 30 milliamps. sine curve that is type AC the trip time in milliseconds this is injecting current then as per IS12640 that is trip time and trip time as per demo at two various face angles 0 180 0 180 0 180 first test is injection current is half half means half of 30 50 milliamps 15, 1, 5. It should not trip at any angle. If it trips, it is fault. The idea is to check for nuisance tripping 
are unwanted dripping that means this rccb should not drip at 15 milliamps then this is x1 x1 means 30 milliamps it should drip at 300 maximum as per standard then here five times x5 r 250 ma here it should drip at 40 milliseconds maximum at both positions and this is the result now we will check and note down the results here that is the demo trip timing as i told you here you should not trip so we will have a close look at the display the settings and here the knob and this is the test button so we will go into the video we will on the main and i am going to switch this on this in off position now on here you can see the two lights are on suppose if i off this both lights will go away so first we have to check whether the two lights are on if it is not on we should not proceed further and investigate what is the reason i will show you suppose if i remove this earth see what is happening the face earth pe or center light is off so if this is the case it has to be investigated it means earth is missing so we have to activate the earth so i thought this method will be easy for understanding instead of cutting and joining wires see now it is on this third test button will work only if this test button is pressed so first thing is you have to ensure that when you on the power both this light should be on both the lights should be on as i already told you If there is break in the earth or no earth this light will not light or if there is loose contact it will simply blink so before proceeding we have to take note of this aspect then another one point is suppose in this circuit 
you have connected some uh, appliance like fridge or ups like that or any other appliance you have to switch off and unplug the appliance it won't affect the meter or reading but there are chances of getting incorrect readings so first we will set the knobs this is the first position this is no trip and here i have set it to 30 milliamps this is no trip now i will press this test button it is not tripping the degree is zero so we will mention here no trip so this is passed one test now we will go to one x one x again we will conduct the test at the zero degree so it is 17 milliseconds so we will mention here one x zero degrees 17 milli seconds so the zone is below 17 is below 300 so this has passed this test also and now i will reset it hmm hmm i'll change the knob position to 5x or 250 ma press the test button and note the time it is 15 milliseconds at 250 ma 40 is the maximum actual is 15 milliseconds So 15 is less than 40. So this has passed this test also. Now we will conduct the remaining same test at 180 degrees. So I will change the slider switch to from 0 to 180.
so we will start with no trip i have to reset so it does not trip so i will mention here no trip so this is passed the first is test there's no nuisance tripping at half rated sensitivity or 15 milliamps this is 15 me and this is 30 ma and this is 250 now we will set it at 1 1x i'll reset it i think it is on we will test again so it is tripped at 7 milliseconds seven milliseconds which is far less than 300 so it has passed this test also i reset it now i will turn the knob to fast trip or 250 ma now we will conduct the test very good to stripping at 4 milliseconds so just pass this test also so we have conducted at half there's no trip or nuisance tripping so it has passed and 1x maximum 300 it has tripped at 17 and 7 which is less than 300 then here 250 ma 40 is the maximum value as per standard in the actual demo it is 15 and 4 so it has passed all the three tests the result is rccb is okay so this is the proper method of testing an rccb because the tripping time is very very important rather than any other character hope you understand the content if you have any doubt please post in the comment box then i will tell you about this test button also see this test button will work this switch will trip but we don't know whether it is within this time limit
See here, I will press it. This meter will not show the reading. Because this one is not in downstream, it is upstream. Again, I will show you. It will trip, but we don't know the time, which is very, very important. It can be measured only with this type of meters. This is a basic meter with basic features. Other features like auto testing are available in higher end models which are costly but this is doing the same work. The function is all same. Whether you buy a meter for uh, 50,000 or 5,000 doesn't matter. That meter will have more auto features like ramp test and uh, memory and all. This is a basic one without any battery. As I showed you the reading even of a dripping it will retain the reading. See here. We will set it at 30 and uh, tip rated MA at 0. I will just check it. See, power is gone. There is no supply. But it is still retaining the or freezing the display. Okay, thank you. See, now it has disappeared. Bye.